So now why is it important? You have intelligent beings that are not dense enough for you to see, but they actually live lives and hold intelligence and cause effects on physical realities. Now this is what you would call spirits, ghosts, phantoms, jinns, whatever you want to call them. Some is good, some is bad. Now skipping this because I want to stay on point. How do you call these beings? Well, first of all, you got to choose who you want to call. Now, this is a this is a chart, a zodiac chart. I printed up so y'all can see it. Now, as y'all can see, Capricorn, Sagittarius at the top. Capricorn and Sagittarius names are on. They didn't print out all the way, but those are those two signs up there. If you're wondering. And then at the bottom, Gemini and Cancer in between Taurus and Leo didn't print out. So those are those two signs. If you're wondering. So when I say these names, y'all can know what I'm talking about. Now, getting on point, we start at Virgo. And we travel around this entire zodiac until we make a completion. Now, the sun right now oh, is where my thumb is at, entering the Aquarian oh, age. God. This is the year 15,102. So starting oh, as God. Virgo is the year zero. So we've been traveling for 15,102 years oh, all gosh. the way till we got to the Aquarian age. Now, How do you know that, Lofi? How do you know that? And if I was to show the people the chart that you're showing and referencing this information, nigga, you talking about a damn kid chart. This is a damn kid chart, nigga. And I'm going to go ahead and show the people because you think I'm fucking capping. Guys, this is what he's using to explain the 15,000 damn years, right? To explain the damn aliens. And shout out to everybody that's in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in, man. Make sure that y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, guys. And make sure that y'all leave a comment because we are about to start fucking little fees ass up right now. And we've been fucking his ass up, man. We've been having our foot on his motherfucking neck. And we're going to keep having our foot on his motherfucking neck. And then we're going to take our knife and we're going to take that scalp off his motherfucking head, man. I'm going to have me a wig full of Young Pharaoh's dreads. Straight up. I'm going to have me a whole wig full of Young Pharaoh's wig, uh, dreads so I can just rock them hoes. And he'd be like, yeah, uh -huh. it's the general. I got my special. And take a Sharpie and just go around my left eye and, you know, do the little Luciferian eye and act like a little feet. You feel me? So we definitely got to get that damn scalp. You feel me? But anyways, man. I'm going to show you this chart that Lil Fee talking about, man. Th this is what he's talking about when he's talking about the damn aliens. Now, let me know, guys. Does this chart look like it's professional? You know, it's advanced, it's modern? Or does this look like a damn child's chart? Now, how is he going to explain the 15,000-year cycle based off this damn child chart? Like, like, that's what I'm trying to damn understand. Is look at this chart. Those are on. They didn't print out all the way, but those are those two signs up there if you're wondering. Who you want to call yeah. now this is a this is a chart this is what he used to teach back in the day back in camille's apartment and shit like that now i don't know how people thought this nigga had some knowledge but look at this diagram he's using like you cannot take this this child mind serious man he used a child's graph to try to explain some cosmic astronomy some cosmology or what he calls it right it makes no damn sense a zodiac chart i printed up so y'all can see it now, as y'all can see, this little kid ass chart, little child ass chart, little baby ass chart, little gaby ass chart, man. That's what the Galian is be giving the gabies, man. Straight up. Capricorn, Sagittarius at the top. Oh, Capricorn gosh. and Sagittarius. Kid chart. Names are on. They didn't print out all the way, but those are those two signs up if you're wondering. And then at the bottom, Gemini and Cancer in between Taurus and Leo didn't print out. So those are those two signs if you're wondering. So when I say these names, y'all can know what I'm talking about. Oh, now, getting on point, we start at Virgo. And we try now, how do you know that? Like, how are you able to tell the placement of the earth and the vastness and the, uh, and the fluid of space? How are you able to tell that we're in the Virgo constellation? Like, like, do you have an actual, like, more detailed map? Like, like, is this the map that you're holding up to the damn stars trying to figure out, you know, where's Virgo and Leo and all these different constellations? Like, I'm trying to understand, Lofi. Travel around this entire zodiac until we make a completion. Now the sun right now. You're really a damn chart to explain this. Shit. This chart has no accurate, you know, no accurate application onto what's going on in the actual universe in the Milky Way. It, like, this, like it's not even to scale. And you're trying to use this to teach black people about the stars and astronomy and astrology and shit like that, man. This is how I tell you, little he's a phony, man. He's, he's he's pseudo. Like you can't tell me that this shit ain't. Child's play, man. You can't tell me this shit ain't damn child's play. He's he, he's trying to use this damn chart to explain how the Earth's been traveling for 15,000 years. 
How you gonna use this little child chart? Like they got ac they got more accurate graphs and charts, nigga. Like they could just go to any space program, go to any uh NASA, bro. bro go to any any space astronomy app website, space.com, astronomy.com. And you're gonna pull up more accurate definite more accurate descriptions of planets, the planetary systems, the so the different types of solar systems, the way that the planets orbit around the sun. Come on, dude. This, this is some kid ass shit, man. Some kid ass shit. Is where my thumb is at. In the Aquarian age. This is the year fifteen thousand one hundred and two. So starting as now, how does this map like like now how do you get that from this damn map? Like where does it state that? Like where you get this information? Where are you sourcing this the like these numbers of reference from, dude? Cause I don't see no damn numbers of fifteen thousand years on this damn map. Virgo is the year zero. So we don't even point to the map to let us know where these shits are and how it orbits and you, like you're just holding a map in front of the damn screen, talking, expecting us to keep up. Like, dude, what the hell, bro? This is some crazy ass. Shit. You're a horrible teacher, bro. For fifteen thousand one hundred and two years, all the way till we got to the Aquarian age. Now, as you can see, oh, the gosh. Aquarian constellation is a group of stars which are different in pattern from all the other stars, and they are different in sizes. Each sun, each star is a sun. So depending upon the size. Um, that would depend upon the effect caused on a planet. That makes no damn sense. You, you don't even know how to, like, like you over here is damn stuttering and shit like that. Like, this shit don't makes no damn sense. We, we, obviously, we know that each star is a sun and each sun is a damn star. That's common damn sense. That's not no occult, you know, you know, uh, e esoteric, spiritual, galien ass shit. That's, that's common knowledge, bro. Are different in pattern from all the other stars. And they are different in sizes. Each sun, each star is a sun. So Obviously, we learn in grade school. Depending upon the size, um, that would depend upon the effect caused on the planetary systems, aka oh, to gosh. be um less um compressed. You can't see it. So now, why is it important? You have intelligent yeah. beings that you are not dense shit? enough for you to see, but they actually live right, lives give you and hold intelligence and cause effects on physical realities. Now, this is what you would call spirit ghosts. Right, and I had to give y'all a sneak peek on that shit, man. Cause that's just some of the dumb shit, the alien shit that he be talking about. Like he thinks he knows and shit like that, but he don't be knowing shit, man. He don't be knowing shit, and that's why that's not abducted. Like no, no advanced being in the universe is gonna get is basically allow themselves to get abducted. That's crazy, man. That that lets me know that you weren't really about the shit that you talking. Nigga. Like you're not really that. No, that advanced little nigga, straight up, straight up. Now let's listen to Lil Fee talk about his Galen abductions, bro. It's the general. It's the bitch general. You're not no damn general, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Listen. Peace family. It's your boy. Peepee family. Beep beef. Beep beef. Beef pee family. God damn, nigga. Like you don't even use your damn tongue when you say that shit. Lil Fee from the G. So don't wait Peace, peace family. It's your boy Lil Fee for G. It's your boy Lil Fee for the G. Yeah. Run with Lil G. Luke ready at you dead. Let him know it's Lil Fee. Oh, I can break you play with tech. I'ma finish you. No games go for a block through general. It's that but, general. I mean, listen, let me sit down and tell you the story. Oh, I got abducted by extraterrestrials before. Multiple times. I've been being abducted by extraterrestrials. Multiple times, right guys? Multiple times. Since I was five years old. Since he was five years old, since he was just a gaby. Just a godler. You know, he was just a gay lead toddler. He's been abducted since then. That's a damn shame, man. Like, which, and, and, and I'm still trying to figure out, Little Fee, you still haven't explained, like, what type of aliens abducted you. Was it the reptilians? Was it the Anunnaki? Was it the greys? Was it the insectoids? You know, was it the negroids? Was it the mongoloids? You know, was it the caucasoids? You know, like, was it, you know, uh, spirits, demons, you know, interdimensional aliens, like, like the Galeans, like, I'm trying to understand, dude, like, which group of people abducted you? Because the, when you told Boosie K that story and you said that, you know, the ones that abducted me didn't look like you or me, is that means it wasn't the Anunnaki. It wasn't, you know, your ancestor, you know, uh, you know, extraterrestrial, you know, home species. So somebody else outside of your home DNA abducted you and did a medical procedure on you, dude. So which species was it, dude? Listen, let me sit down and tell you the story. I got abducted by extraterrestrials before times. 
I've been being abducted by extraterrestrials since I was five years old. Since he was five years old. He's been abducted since he's extraterrestrial since he was five years old. I was five years old. Five. I've been being abducted by extraterrestrials. The last time I, I remember consciously being abducted by extraterrestrials, oh, I was in Walden Correctional Facility on Delta Unit. On Delta Unit. I think I was in cell 39. So that's when Chef Yak, because that, that's where he met Chef Yak. Remember how he was bragging about how he met uh, Chef Yak in the Delta Unit? And he called him up on the phone. Chef Yak is like, yeah, yeah, and shit like that. So I guess Chef Yak was in the neighboring cell or somewhere near close when this abducting happened. You know, and I'm curious to see if Chef Yak, you know, like heard the nigga get abducted or something like that. So this is back in the Delta Unit, guys. I remember consciously being abducted by. So this must have been in what 2014, what 2015 type shit, like early 2015, because he like he like he was only locked up for damn near a year and like a couple months. Like he wasn't locked up for damn near three years. So this was in like 2014, 13. So they get like, we got the timeline on your bitch ass. So we know if you're lying or not. Extraterrestrials in Walden Correctional Facility on Delta Unit. I think on I Delta Unit. They betrayed me. I want to kill. I want to kill. I was abducted by aliens. And they probed me. They probed me. They probed me. It's the general. They probed me. They betrayed me. They betrayed me. I want to kill. I want to kill. I was in cell 39. I was five years old. I was five years old. I was five years old. I was being abducted by extraterrestrials. The last time I remember consciously being abducted by extraterrestrials, I was in Walden Correctional Facility. On Delta Unit. I think I was in cell 39. I was on the same unit, whatever that bitch Aladdin got me sent to the box where tried to get me violated. Cause I didn't want to talk to her because my father died. And I was having a bad day. That bitch got me sent to the box. Grimy ass bitch. But that being said, uh, I was taken on a ship and I was laid face down on the ship. And I remember. So another motherfucking black woman allege got him locked up. Like, God damn, nigga, you stay beefing with black women your entire life, bro. Straight up. Like, so another black woman is put you in a jail. That's stupid. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, like, how many times you been to damn jail? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, now you making up other jail stories and shit like that, nigga. Come on, bro. You really expect us to believe this dumb shit. I was in War Regional Facility. The Water Credit Facility. On Delta Unit. On Delta Unit. I think I was in cell 39. Cell 39. I was on the same unit, whatever that bitch Aladdin got me sent to the box for tried to get me violated. Because I didn't want to talk to her because my father died. Oh, and I was gosh. having a bad day. That bitch, bitch got me sent to the box. Grimy Pussy. ass bitch. Pussy ass nigga. But that being Shut said, uh, I was taken on a ship. And I was laid face down on the ship. And I remember floating above my body. My soul was outside of my body. And I was looking down at my... Right, so he's talking about going on the, you know, the alien spaceship. So he's face down, you know, face down, ass up, basically, on like on the probing table, right? He's remote viewing or what they call astral projecting, right, into another dimension. And he's able to view this dimension, right? So he's using, he, he, you know, he's viewing himself ass up, face down on the probing table, guys. So this is the story. Just, you, know, just, you know, just to give people the context. And I remember floating above my body. My soul was outside of my body. Right. You, you were astral projecting or you were like remote viewing or you were in, you know, another dimension. Okay. And I was looking down at my body and I was able to look in every direction in the room except for to the right. And it was a being to my right. And it was, a, I know it was a man. It was a masculine energy. And I didn't look like me, but I, I know it was. A so it wasn't an Anunnaki. Then. It wasn't a Negroid. It wasn't, you know. You know, black Egyptians, like it wasn't, the, you know, that, you know, that escape during the time, like Egyptian times and stuff. Like, no, it wasn't none of that stuff. Dude. So you just admitted that it didn't look like you. So it must have been a reptilian. It must have been a gray. It must have been a coccozoid. It must have been an ex insectoid, you know, amphibitoid. Like, it must have been a robotoid. Like, it must have been with, like any of these toys that you talk about, nigga. Straight up. Down in my body, and I was able to look in every, every direction in the room except for to the right. And it was a being to my brother. I know it was a man. It was a masculine energy. And I didn't look like me, but I, I know it was a man. It was telepathically communicating with me that it was a man. So it was psychically communicating with little feet. 
right? So, so, so little feet was able to feel the vibe and the energy of this being, right? Energetically, psychically, telepathically, and was able to tell that it was masculine, guys. And then from there, it was beings operating on my 33rd vertebrae. And as I always say, it felt like somebody was touching two wires. They were operating on his 33rd vertebrae, guys, right? It felt like two wires, so it felt like electricity. So when the aliens, you know, had the nigga bent down, ass up, shoving their motherfucking dick inside his ass, they 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 was causing the nigga's G spot to feel like electricity. And I don't know, like, if the ladies, like, if that's what climaxing like feels like to you, ladies, but I think he was climaxing when he was being probed. Cause what else feels like electricity? Like I've got tattoos on my spine. And it doesn't feel like no damn wires, you know, like like like, like poking together, it's jumping together, and the sparks flying and shit like that, bro. Like, just just be real, bro. Like he, like the aliens, the aliens will hit your G spot. It'd be real, well, nigga. They're clubbing the damn cheeks, hit uh, hit your G spot, and you were orgasming, but nigga, like that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Oh yeah, and I forgot, guys. I forgot to say, uh, this is. 18 or above a live stream so if you are 17 or younger guys if you are underage please leave the building okay parental advisory warning guys adults only explicit material for viewing by adults 18 of age or older guys so just to let you know okay so that's little feet over, over here getting probed and shit over here spy feeling like electricity you know, orgasming and squirting and shit like that internally and shit, bro. Right, and it was a, I know it was a man. It was a masculine energy. And I didn't look like me, but I, I know it was a man. It was telepathically communicating with me that, that it was a man. Oh, and then from there, it was beings operating on my 33rd yeah. vertebrae. And as I always say, it felt like somebody was touching two wires. You feel me? It felt like they was tapping two wires together. And the being was telling me... When you take two wires and tap it together, like, if you take, let's say is let's say your car battery's dead and somebody comes to you know a charger car right you hook up the two uh, cords they turn the car on and then you, you clap things together and it creates that spark right so he's talking about damn electricity like that's what he's talking about like the feeling it felt like you know two sparks you know pumping like so like basically saying like it feels like electricity but his emotional intelligence isn't that high so he has a hard time explaining and using words to describe feelings guys so basically, his spine, when they were operating on the 33rd vertebrae, felt like the pain of electricity or like the pleasure of electricity running through your body or the pleasure of ecstasy in Lil Fee's case. Right? You know, I asked for my permission to operate. I gave it permission to operate. And so the being would have stopped if you would have said no. Because any being, any alien or extraterrestrial needs your, you know, your permission to access or to operate or to inhabit your being, bro. So you allow this being to convince you, manipulate you by using illusions. And you give up your own free will to allow this being to begin doing work on you. And this isn't the Anunnaki. This isn't like your ancestral, you know, uh, extraterrestrial species that's living on near Caribou that travels every 3,660 years. Or about 3,690 years, right? So these aren't the Anunnaki who are working on you, who's trying to like genetically enhance and improve your genome to allow you to express things that maybe wouldn't have been expressed since the Pharaoh time. Like that's not that's case, bro. It's the reptilians. It's the insectoids. It's the robotoid grays that are operating on you, bro. So please, please like, Explain some more, little fee. Telling me, you know, it asked me for my permission. I was tapping two wires together, and the being was telling me, you know, it asked me for my permission to operate. I gave it permission. So to you gave it free will. So you, so you gave it permission to access your body. You gave it permission over your body, bro. Damn, little fee, you got, you got swindled that quick. You got soul swindled, nigga. You know that they, they talk about the, uh, uh, the tender swindler. Boy, you the soul. Boy, you got a soul swindled by a demon, nigga, or an alien, straight up. By a alien, straight up, bro. Operate, and I felt the volume of pain going up, and as the volume of pain kept increasing. See, like when, like, like when, like when that probe, well, you know, when that alien penis, you know, 
pit, like penetrated the anal cavity and, and began going up his rectum and began that pain he's talking about best. First, it felt like electricity. First, it felt good. And then as it began to grow and enlarge, it began to pain, guys. So this is the pain that he's describing. I was together. Being was telling me, you know, it asked me for my permission to operate. I gave it permission to operate. And I felt the volume of pain going up. And as the volume of pain kept increasing, I just remember going like, Ugh! <laughs> you give fuck, man. That's the pain of niggas giving fuck, man. That that's the face of a niggas giving fuck right there. You know, I asked me for my permission. I gave it permission to operate, and I <laughs> felt the volume of pain going up. And as the volume of pain kept increasing, I just remember going like, uh, "It hurts. It feels so good. I'm the general." I got my special. Uh, it's the general. It's little uh, And then I shot back, back in my body, but as the pain was increasing, they so once you know they began penetrating and go back and forth, and the pain began increasing, it turned from pleasure to pain instantly. You know, his soul went back to his body. So he stopped astral projecting. That's when shit got real. That's when he was like, oh, fuck. I'm being raped. And that's what happened. He's being raped, guys. This is his alien probing story, guys. Just to let y'all know. And I felt the volume of pulling up. And as the volume of pain kept increasing, I just remember going like, Ugh. And then I shot back in my body. But as the pain was increasing, they kept... Asking me was I okay, but I remember not saying I was trying to be tough, but I remember being able to bear the pain. So I kept saying, like, go, go ahead, you know, keep going, keep going. And then the pain increased to the point where it was unbearable. And I came back to my body. They brought me back. That was the last, like, full, full conscious abduction story. I, remember. I wasn't on. I never did drugs the whole time I was in jail. I never did nothing like that happened. I was abducted from my cell and brought back to my cell by extraterrestrials. And I've Why been would they bring you back to your cell and I drop you off on Costa Rica or drop you off? In Africa or, or or Egypt or like somewhere to where you can actually like be free. Like why, why would they drop you off back in your damn cell just for you to get in a relationship with Gold and Camille and then experience all this shit that you're experiencing now, bro? Like explain that, Lofi, because that don't make no damn sense to me. Straight up, abducted multiple times by extraterrestrials. That's true. Been abducted multiple times by extraterrestrials. That's true. They betrayed him. They betrayed him. I'm not lying about that. And people have been calling me crazy. You are crazy, bro. Because I've been simply trying to tell them I got abducted. That's fucked up. But the white man believe me, though. Does he? Do they? But the white man believe though. You so happy about the white man, bro. Straight up. Like, look at this little kid. And look at this little flea. Sergeant Flea. A general flea right here, man. This y'all general? This weak-ass, beta male-ass, sit-ass general, man. Oh, over here getting played by all these girls. Do you expect this nigga to protect y'all? He can't even protect his own damn heart. This nigga heart getting broke every damn day by a new female. Like, God damn, bro. Straight up. Ugly ass nigga, man. Looking like, you look like a straight pig. Straight boar ass nigga, man. But the white man believe me. He love the white man, man. He love the white man so much, man. He gets so excited when he talk about the damn white man. Like, it's... When, boy, when the white man rolls off his damn tongue, the nigga just sparks up. Like, the dopamine in his brain just increases. Starts having pleasure orgasms and shit like that mentally when he starts speaking about the damn white man. As soon as the white man hits the damn tongue, the dopamine in his brain just starts kicking in. You know, so I said to say this. They are real. And believe me, though. I got abducted. That's fucked up. But the white man believe me, though. And believe me, though. Oh, but the white man believe me, though. So I said to say this. They are real. And I am ordained and watched by and, and divinely watched over by the most high. So he is ordained <laughs> and watched over by the most high too. So, so why the most high have you sit in jail for three days? Why did the most high have you shoot up your baby mama's house? Why did the angels and the galeons, you know, have you do all this extra shit? Like 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 I wanna know that little fee. Cause it's not it's not adding up to me. It's not like it's like one plus one. Like this sounds like some damn trick knowledge. Like we just broke down the mathematics shit the other day. Like it sounds like 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 some damn trick knowledge, nigga. And there is a, a, a galactic federation of beings watching over everything we're doing on this planet. 
So you better be in line ways and actions in the ways. Right, so there's a galactic federation of beings watching over the damn planet. Shit, man. Then why are they allowing all these pedophile rings? Why are they allowing all this murder? Why are they allowing all this evil ass shit on the motherfucking planet then? Nigga, if there's a federation watching the planet, like damn planet. This is what I'm talking about with these alien, alien, loving light niggas, man. Up. But the white man believe me though. Oh, man. But the white man believe me though. Go right. Right but the white then. man believe right right that dick, that that. Fuck that nigga litter skin. Go right the dick then. They are real. And I am ordained and watched by Indiv Indiv Go teach the white woman as God then. Divinely watched over by the most high. Well, you know if, like, shit, nigga. I don't know which most high you worship and shit, but that ain't the most high, nigga. If you get the nigga, if you get caught up in the shit that you get caught up broke in the bitch, shit, nigga, that's not the most high God I know, shit. Is there must be a higher one, straight up. And there is a, a, a galactic federation of beings watching over everything we doing on, on this planet. Then why the fuck did these galactic federation of beings let you fucking shoot up your baby mama's house? Why did this galactic federation of beings not stop you uh, before you know the so-called drugging of drugs to enter your system? Why like why like why did they stop you from taking that big ass bag of shrooms and then blaming on Justina? Why did they stop you when you were holding a gun, pointing at Justina, saying that she was shape shifting as a reptilian? Why did the, uh, the the Galactic Federation of Beings stop you then? Why haven't they stopped any of the fucking horrible ass shit on this damn planet if that's the damn case? See, little fee, you don't make no damn sense, man. And all this Galian shit don't make no damn sense either. So you better be mindful of your ways and actions oh, and the gosh. ways you carry yourself. But that being said, I love, look at the white man riding by on his golf cart. You love the white man. By mind this you love the white man so much, man. He stay watching the white man. And you need to mind your own damn business. Of beings watching over everything we're doing on this planet. Take so you your own damn advice, straight up. Better be mindful of your ways and actions and the ways you carry yourself. But that being said, I like look at the white man riding by on his golf cart. See that look shit? Riding by minding this motherfucker with the white man. Oh, God. Out here with the motherfucking white man chilling. Weak ass. But that being Weak said, ass. I was factually abducted by extraterrestrials. You were factually. And that experience you were, helped. He was factually abducted by extraterrestrials. How? How is that factually? Where's the where, 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 where's the video evidence? Like, is there a video? of you being flown out your damn cell like is there any footage or any type of physical evidence outside of your own testimony like where are these damn extraterrestrials at to tell this damn story to validate and confirm since you want to talk about damn confirm 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 where's the aliens to confirm this damn story to get me on a righteous path and change my life and value nature and love nature and become one with nature more nature like is that what like 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 it's being more nature like is that what means like shooting like shooting your baby mama's house or pointing a gun at just let his head like is that being into a nature and study the universe more because i was shown the truth by extraterrestrials since i was five years old so five years and that's old. why i've always been the way so five years old been and the closest way i can explain myself to the public would be like i'm a monk but i'm not really a, not that i'm like you ain't no damn monk not really a monk. I'm a monk in my own. You can't own. even discipline yourself to stop. Like, like, like you can't even have dick discipline. There's no way you can be a damn monk. Nigga. Like that's the first thing the monks master is dick discipline. They don't even use their damn dicks. They channel the energy up to their brains and you know body and shit like that. Nigga. Like you, like you still in your fucking lower chakra, straight up. No way. I'm like a gangster who turned into a monk. You a gangster who turned into a damn monk. That makes no damn sense. Cause you, cause you, cause you're not on no damn monk behavior right now. Like literally, like what you're doing now is not monk behavior. That's the oh, best way I can explain myself. But I'm really just straight. a pharaoh. You just, a, no, so now you just a pharaoh. So first you was a gangster, and then a monk. Now you just a pharaoh. Shut the fuck up, Gero. A pharaoh is the union between man and the divine. That is what I. Yeah, you're. I am. I'm the union between. I've unified my soul type to activate my avatar. <laughs> I hear this. That's the best I can explain myself. But I'm really just a pharaoh. A pharaoh is the union between man and the divine. That is what I am. I'm the union between. I've unified my soul type to activate my avatar. He I unified his soul type to activate his avatar. <laughs> you also cartoon shit, man. The best way I can explain myself. But I'm really just a pharaoh. A pharaoh, a pharaoh is the union between man and the divine. The pharaoh. That is what I am. I'm the union between. I've unified my soul type to activate my avatar. I understand who I am within within this vessel. Oh, that is gosh. what that is what and who I am. And so I said to say this: Aten is the sun, highest level of consciousness. You feel me? I understand. I absorb the sunlight through my melanin. I understand the science. All of that Merkaba, 
all of that. Feral, divine, oh, loyalty to Aten. I understand everything. All of my tattoos tell a story. Righteousness, speak truth, speak righteousness. Consciousness, masculine, feminine. You feel me? Blue, red electricity. Righteousness, warriorhood. Hey, Ro. Uh, Anubis, Ampu, Moon, Gravitational Pull, Feminine Energy, Sacred Feminine. Uh, you don't live by none you know, of those shits. Protection, protector. You don't live by none of those shits, literally. You're not a damn protector. You're not none of them damn shits, nigga. Literally, you're none of them damn shits you just talked about. You don't live in harmony with none of those damn things you got tatted on you. Everything, you feel me? War, elephant, lion. I, all my tattoos have a story and I'm not done. Oh, gosh. And they be nothing. And shout out to my tattoo boy, Chino. My tattoo man, Chino. Fuck Chino. Fuck the, fuck the nigga damn Chino. But that being said, um... You nigga that fuck a little fee, fuck you, nigga. I was abducted by extraterrestrials. That's not a oh lie. Oh, gosh. That is, I don't gotta lie about That it. is a lie. You actually get a lot of clout, like, saying that shit. Like, like, it's people actually start watching your shit because you said you got abducted by aliens. They have a whole alien, ancient aliens and ancient alien history and shit like that on Discovery Channel. Like, that shit, nigga, like, that... If you say that shit, like that shit comes with clout. So you already know that you're making this shit up, bro. I got a shout out from the CIA. Stop pulling me. But that yeah, a conspiratory QAnon supporter, CIA, ex whistleblower, who the CIA did with. They said, I'm, I'm just getting that story out quick. Cause like I said, every time I tell my story, people play with me. I don't like motherfuckers playing Fuck with me. Fuck you, nigga. This story's fake as hell. Shut the fuck up. I don't like that. So they said, why they drop your ass off back in the prison and not drop your ass off free somewhere to where you can build a, like an actual pyramid? Why do they just take you with you? And, and then give you all the damn knowledge and, 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 and activate your DNA and then bring you back so that you can use superpowers and shit like that. Like, why Like why did they do all that shit? Like, why did they make you a dumbass, ugly-ass nigga with a damn-ass lock, short as hell? Like, why did they genetically advance your DNA suck a sequence to increase your height, to, uh, to change your bone structure, uh, like, to change your bone structure and to increase your height? Why did they change your DNA sequence to increase your penile size? Like, if they abducted you, like, why did they do anything special to actually enhance your being? You said they unlocked your mind and shit like that, but, nigga, I just broke down, some, like, most of your damn mind. This shit is fucking shit. Like, that shit is damn ass. Straight up. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna get out of here on that. But I don't got no reason to cap. All right, Nation, we up. It's the J. It's the J. Running this bag right back up like we always do. And I'm going be hiring soon. You feel me? Opening up jobs shit, throughout uh, the black community soon. Same shit. And, uh... You feel me? You know what it is. And um, it's just me and my nigga Scooby Zoqua. The door's closed. The door was open for the door was open, now the door's closed. It's me and Scooby Zoqua. We going out here to deal with the white man. And my nigga <laughs> Chef Yak. Shit. Everybody else, the door's closed. Fuck you, dude. you feel me? Fuck you. And I got some niggas in Buffalo I'm fucked with. And I'm um, coming through the bill. And that is what it is. And with that being said, I was abducted by extra no, That's a fact. That's not a fact. Since I was five years old, I've been being abducted. And I can tell you all the stories. And with that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to my son and my daughters, you heard? Okay. Oh God. Yeah. Then they go over here capping, capping like a damn motherfucker, man. Capping like a damn motherfucker, straight up, Brody. Straight up, Brody. Straight up. In my skill set, you know what I'm saying? That I've acquired over the years. But with that being said, I love y'all. Oh gosh. I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? I'm about to brush my teeth. Get ready to go run and do what I do. And so, I mean, ain't nothing else to it but to do it. Ain't nothing else to say but to. Oh gosh. To say it. This is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. I appreciate all my genuine day one supporters. Y'all know I've been about the people since day one. And, um. I even know I've been about the people. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. I'm going to say this though also before I go. 51 acres of land in Costa Rica. You feel me? I'm getting ready to build an Egyptian slash Japanese style zero point energy palace over there. As well as turn this house into a zero point. With no knowledge of how to work a damn drill. No knowledge of how to work a damn screwdriver. You don't even know how to put together two by fours. You don't even know how to cut with you know what you know what the damn water saw. Like you don't even know how to use a damn uh a, but like a regular saw. So how are you gonna build these things? Like you gonna pay somebody to build it? Like stop trying to act like you don't do this shit all yourself while you a grown damn man. Cause you're not a damn grown man, nigga. You little gaby, man. Straight up. And you don't got this damn land, nigga. You just gonna keep talking for years. I got this damn land, I got this damn land. For years, for years. His car in the shop, his jewelry still in the shop. Five years from now, man. Stop the cap, man. Energy house, an Egyptian theme it. Uh, build my bank over there. 
another branch of my bank here in Katy, Texas here, and then another one in Buffalo. And then um, I'm gonna build my cleaning studio in Costa Rica, holistic healing center where I'm gonna be healing people of chronic diseases and sicknesses. I'm gonna have a lot of things going on in Costa Rica. I'm gonna say that as a humanitarian, so not only will I be coming to people, but they will come to me. Oh, gosh. Also, I'm not loyal to my crown. I'm not doing business with you. Simple as that. I'm getting ready to put my crown on. Okay, so no games. Oh, if you're not loyal to the crown, I will not be dealing with you. Facts. With well, that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm done. I just take y'all into. I'm gonna go jog. Then when I come back from running, I shut. I'll let y'all in on a little bit of my tactic. I'm just let y'all see a little bit of tactic, and then from there we straight. With that being said, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Peace. All right, y'all, it's the motherfucking Jenna. You know I mean? Gosh. I'm ready to get ready to go run with my motherfucking brother. The rare Jenna. The get money rare Jenna. We over here doing what the fuck we do. We over here doing what the fuck we do at Top Dollar. Broke-ass niggas. Two broke-ass niggas about to go run. Excuse me, at Top Motherfucking Dollar. It, it, it was cold out there a little bit, bro. I said it was cold out there a little bit. Two broke-ass niggas about to go run. Like, it's cold outside, hell no, maybe. It's, it's a little chilly, but it's probably, it's good enough, though. You know, we start running, it's probably like seven. It's All right. Seven, we about to go do what we do. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the camera here till we get back, but we about to go do what we do. Feel me? It begins. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I ain't y'all, me and my motherfucking brother right here, you feel me? We just finished the run. We tired, though. We've been doing this shit constantly. We tired, so we're going to keep it light, you feel me? I got training later today, but what? Dude, you an ugly ass rat motherfucker. You an ugly ass rat motherfucker. You do not have no damn Negro DNA, nigga. You got straight rat DNA. I can tell, bro. What I am gonna do? What I am gonna do later? Rat motherfucker. Today, I ain't gonna do it right now. I'm gonna stream on my gamer channel right now. But what I am gonna oh, do later gosh. today is I'm gonna do some disarms. Just to show y'all, you know I mean, a little bit of my skill set. You don't got no damn skill set. I didn't already broke that shit down. That I've acquired. But in the mean That you did watch your videos and then practice for two minutes and then try to go live and acting like you know how to do it. Time, let me show y'all boys some. Let me show y'all some shit. Yeah, Cause I think it's a, You know what I mean? Let me show y'all some shit. It's the gentleman, you right? So it's that. It's that. Then when you close quarters. Well, this nigga got fake ass wooden shotguns. Boom! Ooh, fake ass wooden shotguns and shit. You ever play cops and robbers in a house with skizo bezo and shit, man? Boom! You wanna come in that motherfucker like Bruh, a real shotgun has way more recoil than that shit, nigga. Like the way that nigga, like you got like like you don't even practicing it with an actual expecting a damn recoil, bro. Like that shit gonna blow your damn body and, and blow your damn right shoulder back and break your shoulder and, and, and collarbone, nigga. Like, you're not gonna be able to hold a shotgun like this and shoot it like the way that you're acting like. Yeah, you know I mean, let me dumb. show y'all some shit. It's the gentleman. You right? You're not gonna walk this shit. This, that. This one when you close quarters, you wanna boom. You got a drill on your face, like, you can't even see. Boom. Ah, bah. I shoot your hand right there, bah. And you wouldn't even move. Boom. It's like how long it took you to aim and shoot. It's, let me show you how quick I would be. Right, it's let's say I walk to the garage and he's wait like like, you know he ran back there for, you know grab the shotgun and shit. It's the gentleman, right? right? So, so this guy, you know, I come in with the Glock. You know he comes in with this you know shotgun. This guy, okay, boom, hit it right now. Is, is, is he done? Is he dead? Straight up, straight up. He over here playing. He over here playing games. That's how I know you like you don't take this shit serious. I would already popped you right there, and you would have been done. Right, but let's just act like I missed, right? Yeah. This one when you close quarters, you know. I'd buy, shoot him. I would, I would already shoot your hand or your forearm right here. Or sh or or catch your top right here. Or shoot this part right here, bro. You like you would not be able to shoot this damn gun. Cause I already had bro, I would already have got you right here, nigga. Popped you. Boom! Pop. I already popped you. See, you already got popped already. Boom! You wanna come in that motherfucker? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I already fucking hit three or four slugs in your ass before you even try to fucking flip. As soon as you run through that damn door. Boom! I already popped you. Boom. Popped you already. You wanna come in that motherfucker? Pop, pop. I already hit you with three.
three or four different pops before you even try damn try to roll. Alright, pop, pop, pop. Boom. Pop, 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 Boom. pop. <laughs> This is some kid. This is some cartoon shit. This is some damn video game shit. Nigga. This is some Grand Theft Auto fake ass shit. Boom! Boom! Uh, Boom! Uh, 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 Shots you nigga. This nigga look like a damn nigga. You look like <laughs> why your hair look like it's fucked up, nigga. <laughs> now, look, guys, now let me go back and show you all the times I would have popped them. I got 16 rounds, right? So pop, pop. that's two rounds. I got 14 rounds left. Pop, pop. Right? That's that's four rounds left. That's 12 rounds. Uh, a four, a four rounds pop, twelve rounds left. Pop, pop. Right, that's what ten rounds left. Pop, 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 pop. I pop four rounds already in him. Four slugs are already. I already done pop like eight, eight to ten slugs already in him, and he would have been gone, straight up. Like he would, he would, his soul would already been transitioned into the next life. All this extra shit is just all fantasy, man. All Disney shit. All Disney fantasy. Any real, any real, <laughs> he's wearing that Rambo, man. He's wearing the damn black Rambo. Straight up, he's wearing the damn like black Rambo. Now, you know, damn black Rambo. Stop, nigga, stop. <laughs> any real person that's skilled in firearm would have been already downed them already. Like he, like he moving too slow. As soon as he does the rolls, we would have shot him as he's doing a damn roll. Straight up. He, he wasting all this damn energy. Boom! 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 <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> nice with that pump, baby. Nice with that pump. Here we go. You're nice with that pump. You feel me? That fake ass shit, nigga, you would have been gone. It's the channel! <laughs> you feel me? We over here doing this shit every day. Oh, God. We over here doing this shit. For art and films, though. For films and entertainment. Yeah, fake ass, fake peaceful. ass Peaceful, we ain't put our hands on nobody. We peaceful. But I'll show y'all the, the rest later. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. That's how I know you couldn't do that shit in real life. You, you too tired. I don't like that either, bro. I don't like, I don't like baby vibes. I hear you, I'm vlogging. You got, you got it, though. I hear you, bro. We over here building about how we don't like rapey vibes. You feel me? As simple as that. Since we was kids, teenagers. I don't like, he only say he got his own mind. I don't like that. You got to give me, like we was talking about, you got to give us some kind of inclination that you're interested. But all that trying to grab on you and do, like, like once a motherfucker start feeling about? like, no, like you, like the best way I can explain it is this. Why are you talking about this grape and shit, bro? Like, this is why I say, bro, like this nigga was ass down or ass up, face down when he got pro, bro. And the Galeans fucked the shit out of his spine, bro. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know when you in a club and females is dancing and you grab one of them, you try to dance and they don't want to dance? Mm -hmm. Once I start getting that energy, I, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I'm off. I'm off you. I'm off you. Like, you got to come over here. <laughs> you got to give You got to give me. You got to. You could get the full. You could get the full. Experience, but you gotta let motherfuckers know you interested. <laughs> but my, motherfuckers ain't with the rapey vibes. Despite masculinity, despite being aggressive, th that fuck all that niggas is not with it. Anything that I feel like is rapey vibes, can't do it. Can't do it. And that's been lost since that's been lost since niggas was in high school. Yeah. And I think we need to say that too, since we on our humanitarian shit, we about to be going around the world. You feel me? The last thing I want on my jacket is. Or, or niggas even want on our name is anybody saying anything rapey. <laughs> Nothing rapey going on over here. I don't want to. Only go where we want it at. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Been saying that. <laughs> only go where we want it at. You don't want me there. I ain't going to be there. I ain't coming. Period. But that being said, you feel me? I'm looking forward to developing Africa. 
I'm looking forward to going to Africa and building with my people, America, building with my people, wherever my people at all around the world and all people. I'm really looking forward to going to Japan. You feel me? They say they love me in Japan. In Japan. Who loves they you? They call me I know we're not gonna make Who calls you this shit, nigga? Who loves you in Japan? Who calls you that, nigga? Who loves you in Japan? Name me one uh, thing. Please. They say they love me in Japan. In Japan. They call me I know we're not gonna make me drop off your head. <laughs> Nobody calls you that. Who calls you that, nigga? And you high as hell right now. I can tell you high as fuck. You blaze right now, nigga. Who calls you? <laughs> so they call you the general. They call you little fee, the Holy Ghost. They call you Amenaki. Nah, 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 nah. Cut your head off, Japan. Like what? Like what else they call you? They call you China, little fee. Like like what else they call you, nigga? In Japan, they call me I know not gonna make me drop off your head. You feel me? Shut the fuck up. I can't. I might go. I want to go bust that flip again over the pool. Me and me and bro was about to go get in the pool. I didn't order the, what you call it, bro? The swim block, whatever. I'm talking about that heavy ass black brick block that you throw in the water. You got to swim with it. Oh, okay. I ordered one. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause we about to get our swimming skills up. We about to get our swimming skills up. We about to get our swimming skills up. But I would go bust a ninja flip in the pool again. But I mean, y'all can call it how you want to. Niggas just got their shit done. Niggas ain't trying to go fuck their shit up that bad. We just got our shit done. You feel me? It's bad enough. I'm already gonna sweat it out. But niggas ain't trying to go. Oh, you know what I mean? I need to go get a lineup though. You do your shit. I, I might go get a lineup. Can, I might go get that. It's can you even afford a damn haircut? Like, if you could afford it, you would have already got one already, bro. Straight up, like you ain't doing nothing all day. Like straight up, like you ain't doing shit all damn day. Who was up in there when you went up in? Same people. Listen, we need a listen. We need a designated barber out here in Houston. Who gonna travel to the crib and cut us? So if you want the job, nobody wants to cut hair for free, nigga. Like you gotta pay. Like you didn't pay General Lou. Like you didn't pay none of your other employees. So like you gonna have to pay. Like nobody wants to cut hair for free, nigga. They ain't no damn slaves. Uh, slide in my DMs right now, General yeah, I. Like, what's the nigga? What's the damn slave? So bad. He's straight. He's straight. But yeah, you know that nigga with the dreads. I tried that one last time. I think fucked my shit up. Mm, who, who, in, who was in there last time you went in there? The bald head nigga and the Mexican. Ah, we gonna go in there and see what's good. But excuse me, we're snitching and shit like a little bitch. Snitch, snitching like a little bitch, straight up. But whoever, man, we need a barber. We need a designated barber that's gonna come out here and cut our hair. That's gonna pull up to the crib. Like, like you know what? Like barbers actually want to get paid on fee. They don't want to get paid in IOUs. You feel me? Like they don't want to get paid and like you like doing a live with them on YouTube and shit like that. They like they want to get paid actual cash. You know, direct deposit, nigga. Cash out, like they actually want to get paid, nigga. And cut our meat here, and we gotta go back, bro. And, and we gotta get another penny, a petty in the manny. We gotta get another petty in the manny from that spot. Petty in the manny. This is what? nice ass Chinese. Uh, nigga, a petty, a petty in the manny. You talking about a petty, uh, like a pedicure and a manicure? Nah, that's some. Nah, bro, that's a beach boy shit, nigga. That's a that's a gayly shit, bro. You want some other shit, nigga? Nah, nah. We gotta get another petty in the manny from that spot. This is nice ass Chinese spot around the corner. Gotta run back up in. Why don't you go to a black owned nail spot to get a manny and penny, huh? Why are you going to a Chinese spot, bro? Straight uplifting the Chinese family, but won't even help tra travel and uplift the black family that does nails too. That's a damn shame. But we straight though, bro. It's the I, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the I Nation boys, you heard? It's the I, I Nation team, you heard? Y'all be rocking. Listen here, I could. I can load that motherfucker too. Hold on, real quick. Let me. Oh hold on. You can flip the screen back so you can see it. Hold on, real quick, because this motherfucker get nice on the load too. Look. You feel me? I could. Oh, hold on. I fucked that up. See? Oh, you hear this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get a focus. Uh, tap the screen right now. All right, let go. Pop. Look at this dumb ass shit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if I got it. BAH! Quick. <laughs> Use that cartridge quick. BAH! Quick load, young boy. BAH! <laughs> oh Ready? BAH! That shit's slow. BAH! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this way he prepared. <laughs> He's prepared to go up and go to his place, a, a, a go to his parents' house, and go, like go to his dad's house. And this is the maneuvers and moves and techniques he's gonna be doing, guys, is to get his children back. Is he trying to get his children back, man? He ain't playing. Like he practicing, man. Straight up, he go to Camille's parents' house, get his son back. Then he he gonna go to Golda's house <laughs> and get uh her, his daughters back. And whoever he got to take out to do it, he going to take him out. Then he going to come get everybody else. <laughs> That's been talking shit. You feel me? I'm going to be ready, nigga. I'm going to be ready, nigga. This little shotgun ass shit ain't, ain't scaring nobody, nigga. Like, keep practicing, little feet. Quick load, young boy. <laughs> Slow ass shit. I don't know. I fucked the cop Ready? Put on that low, baby. Put on that low. We fucking with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's go. Here we go. Probably gotta get that. I gotta order the other joint, the rifle joints. So we don't just practice with that. We got the rifle one to practice with too. Yeah. We chilling. Humanitarian shit. Humanitarian shit. This is another day in the life, and I we rocking. Y'all being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? Till later today. I'm about to go stream on my gamer channel, run this bread up. We just gonna cruise. Cruise control through the day. Eat. And then goddamn Muay Thai it out later. And we just running up this check game yeah, money. Guys. Over here, listen here some. Yeah, I see y'all sliding the DMs though, I'm not gonna lie. You feel me? But we only approving. If you not listen, if you not bad, you ain't you not coming to the pool party. You feel me? I'm getting the flyer done for the pool party now. So if y'all want to come hit up Trap So Tasty. You feel me? Hit up my sis Trap So Tasty, the official promoter. And, and we, I mean, that's how we rocking. With that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Froze. All right, y'all. So I didn't have I didn't have training today. I was, I was a little bit late. I was a little late on the date. You oh, feel gosh. me? But anyway, let me set y'all up real quick, real quick. Let me set this up. And uh, I'm going to do a little couple little drinks just to let y'all know I got that sauce. Nigga, but y'all know I got that sauce. Something light, though. You weak as fuck, nigga. Fuck you, just something light. Sauce. And I get with y'all. Hold on. Holla. All right, y'all. This is continuing the vlog. I ain't have class today, but. Then we were playing with toy guns and shit. Look at him. He on that little toy ass gun, man. Skeezer, weezer. Look, you ain't no strong, nigga, man. I'll slap that shit out your motherfucking hand. Straight up. Like, y'all were playing with toy guns and shit. Like, acting like y'all about to do some real shit in real life. Y'all ain't about to do shit, nigga. Straight up. Some weak ass niggas, man. Why are you practicing with guns, Luffy? You trying to get your children back? Like you trying to stop people talking shit online? Like what? Like why are you getting guns, nigga? Straight up. I just wanted to let y'all know a little something. You know what I'm saying? A little something. So I'm gonna do a little quick little diss on. So I'm being robbed right now, oh right? Gosh. You ain't gun whatever level you want. Bro, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Now this is not that Detroit shit. Oh no disrespect. Gosh. This ain't that Detroit <laughs> shit. It's that real shit. So what you wanna do, right? I'm gonna come off that center line. This nigga, nigga, your shit is that nigga. It's that real shit. So what you wanna do, right? I'm gonna come off that center line, secure that weapon, right? Now you then wanna. This is pretty, pretty strong fucking guy. So you're not gonna real shit. Whatever. All up real quick, real quick. Let me set this up, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little couple little drinks just to let y'all know I got that sauce. Let y'all know I got that sauce. <laughs> Something light though, we ain't gonna go through this something light. Sauce. And I get with y'all, hold on, holla. Alright y'all, this is continuing the vlog. I ain't have class today, but I just wanted to let y'all know a little something. You know what I'm saying? A little something. So, I'm gonna do a little quick little diss on. So, I'm being robbed right now, right? You get anything done, whatever level you want. I would already pop if you would've been gone. If you would've already been gone. Like, he wouldn't have enough time to even look at me with them ugly ass rat little nose, rat little eyes, and rat little dreads and shit, man. Straight up. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Now, this is not that Detroit <laughs> shit. No disrespect. This ain't that Detroit shit. This is that real shit. So, what you want to do, right? I'm going to come off that center line, secure that weapon, right? Now, you then want to... This is pretty pretty strong fucking guy. So, you're not just going to grab this fucking government's guy. This is not that Detroit shit. 
You're probably gonna have to strike this guy or do something to make him loosen his, loosen his grasp on that weapon or take his mind off that weapon. So, however, you guys want to strike. Nobody needs to be listening you to guys you strike. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm gonna strike. But I'm just gonna imaginarily do my strike. Wow, I have just struck him. See, like, who are you training for? Who are you training for, nigga? Like, are you training to go to Golden Mama's house? Are you training to go to Camille's house to get your children back? Like, who are you training for? Like, you, like you do, like really, like you really think the government's gonna roll up on you with some weapons and stuff like that, little fee? And wh who are you? Like, what, like what courses have you took to actually teach this stuff? Skizo, bizo, like this do rag not even on your head, right? Nigga? Like this shit halfway on your head, look like a damn. Oh my god, why are you gripping this little toy gun so damn hard, bro? Like it's a real gun. The little small ass Dollar General gun. What is? Oh my God, Fee, Fee. This is not that Detroit shit. What no is disrespect. It? Right, this is ain't it? that Detroit shit. It's that real shit. No, it's not so what you want to do, right? I'm gonna come off that center line, oh secure that weapon, right? He knows. Now you then gonna. This is pretty pretty strong fucking guy. So you're not just gonna grab this fucking gun from this guy. This is not that Detroit shit. Oh you're probably gonna have to strike this guy or do something. To make him loosen his, loosen his grasp on that weapon or take his mind off that weapon. So, however you guys want to strike, you guys strike. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to strike. Oh, God. But I'm just going to imaginarily do my strike. Bow, I have just struck him, right? And then from there, I'm going to support myself. And then if his finger was in, his finger's not in there, never put your fucking finger in the actual trigger because it could break. But if his finger was in there, this right here is the break. You feel me? I see the bend, and then from here I would yoke it. So now in fast speed, right? That would look something like I'm being rap. Chill, bro. I'm not no problem. Pop, 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 pop. And I already, I've already went down his ass, and then just took his wallet. Like I ain't trying to ask for nothing. Like I'm gonna just go ahead and just pop you, nigga. Straight up, help you transition to the next life. Fuck all the other shit. I'm, I'm not about to let you take this gun from me. Straight up. Speed, right? That would look something like I'm being rap. Chill, bro. I'm not no problem. I got this. And that little feet. I would have just pushed you with my left hand, uh, 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 pulled the gun back up, and then popped you down. You didn't even secure the gun. Like the gun is still in his hand. This is about. Oh my God, fee, fee. You guys strike. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm gonna strike, but I'm just going to tell you. This is not that Detroit shit. You're probably gonna have to strike this guy or do something. To make him loosen his, loosen his grasp on that weapon or take his mind off that weapon. So, however you guys want to strike, you guys strike. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to strike. But I'm just going to imaginarily do my strike. Bow, I have just struck him, right? And then from there, I'm going to support myself. And then if his finger was in, his finger's not in there. Never put your fucking finger in the actual trigger because it could break. But if his finger was in there, this right here is the break. You feel me? I'll see the bend. And then from here, I would yoke it. So now in fast speed, right? That would look something like I'm being rap. Chill, bro. I'm not no problem. I got this. <laughs> and that motherfucker's broke. Right. Now, that's one. <laughs> now the second listen, case, listen, right? word. I'm walking up the street. I got my jury on. Somebody decides they want to rob them fair for some reason. A law abiding citizen. And not speaking to existence, but just playing around. Here we go. Chill, bro. I got this. Got it. Got it. And now it's broke. This is the break. So now we got that break. And we got that break right there. Now from there, I can tap that motherfucker, laying down, and that's a, that's a take. You feel me? That's a take. Now, it's other ones you could do, but to be honest, I don't really think them shits is that effective. I don't think them shits is that effective. Yeah, yeah, I don't think them shits is that effective. They're not realistic. Even there, you see, that's a strong motherfucker. Like, I'm not just taking that gun from him. You feel me? So in reality, I'm really just blessed enough or blessed enough in a real life of that situation to be able to get from in front of this motherfucker, strike him, and then even if we just only rest, even if I don't get to go through with it, one of the techniques or go through with one of the techniques, even if we just wrestling over this bitch. Now, while I got the, the firearm oh, right here, right? Now he the firearm you will all your might try to aim it back at me. Go. I hate a fire Because I got that left. So he can't get the walk oh, almost on back in the So he can't aim the barrel now, back in front. Of, even though he's strong as hell, he's not weak. Look but the fire he, can't aim, he can't aim the barrel back in front of me because I done already got off the center line and I got this motherfucker pinned. So the point I want to make to you guys is this ain't that fake ass. Yes, it is. It is fake. It is fake. This shit don't work, bro. Like, where did you learn this little fee? 
Because you're not even teaching this properly. Like, where did you learn this, little fee? That, that, like, that's what I want to know. Because ain't none of this shit real, bro. Because I got that letter. So he can't get the, walk, slow, 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 me back in the middle. So he can't aim the barrel back in front of him. Even though he's strong as hell, he's not weak. But you can't aim, he can't aim the barrel back in front of me because I done already got off the center line and I got this motherfucker pinned. So the point I want to make to you guys is, this ain't that fake ass Detroit Urban Train. Because- so now we're talking shit about my homeboy that a church, uh, did a Troy Urban Training, you know, like survival tactics, bro. You know, he's just doing his thing, making content. Now little feet wants to talk shit and try to hate on his content, bro. You don't know how big the person is aiming the fucking gun at you in reality. You don't know if they big hell. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, nobody says somebody 5'1", 80 pounds is going to put a pistol in your face. They might be 6'2", 280. And you're not just going to grab no goddamn gun out no motherfucking hand that 6'2", 280. So my advice would be to get that shit up if you, if you have to. Now, you want to use the shotgun this time. Now he's about to show us some shotguns. The skis are about to hold a wooden ass shotgun. And now Lil Fee gonna try to disarm this little shotgun. Boy, they both high as hell. Look at Lil Fee. You can't tell me his little his little roach ass, his little rat ass ain't high right now. The nigga high as fuck right now, straight up. The nigga high as hell. I think he really teaches something. He doing something and shit like that. Like he about to stop an actual like situation. Like, no, little Fee. You're not about to stop no situation with any of this shit. Straight up, you're not. You're fucking not, bro. And you think we're fucking stupid, bro. Like you think, like, like we think we're stupid. Like I, I, I hope, bro, that nobody actually takes your advice serious, bro. Like, like I hope nobody actually takes your fucking advice serious, bro. Because if they do, like, you know, already probably fucked up their life. Straight up. Straight up little feet. That's, that's, I can't believe it. Now, shout out to your body. Diesel, calm down. Like, over here, like, pumping that shotgun as if, like, you know, like, you gonna do something in real life. Like, stop it, bro. Like, you're not built like that, Skizo Bezo. Like, straight up. Stop trying to act like you about to do something in real life. I make them drop much. You want to do it? Good. Guys, yeah. it's y'all like y'all believe this shit. Guys, please hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It's like these guys are fucking wilding right now. Straight up, man. These guys are wilding like crazy. Straight up wilding. Straight up fucking wilding, bro. Now. Shout out to your body, make them drop much quicker. I'm gonna back this shit up. Shout out to your, see, he, 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 like, he's signing his rap lyrics and shit, bro. Wanna do it? The shotgun is. Huh? Now, shout out to your body, make them drop much quicker. I'm gonna back this shit up a little bit. At shot point blank range with a shotgun, right? Boom. Action. Now, the shotgun is in my face, or it's at my body, right? I'm in front of you. Once again, this ain't that deep. No disrespect to Detroit. This ain't that Detroit. It's the real shit, right? Now, the first thing I want to do is just like fighting. I want to get off that goddamn center line, right? Now, once again, this is not a weak guy. So, this is not no Hollywood shit. You know what I'm saying? In real life, a motherfucker with a shotgun that's bigger than you and got his own strength, it's, going, it's not going to... Little Fee, you will get blown back by any nigga with a real shotgun. Straight up, like this shit, like this shit gonna go right through your fucking chest. Like, stop trying to act like you this tough body Japanese Egyptian pharaoh nigga. You're not. You're you're not. You haven't spent years actually in the military training, bro. And you're trying to teach people how to disarm weapons. You watched a couple of his damn videos, and, and now you think you a damn master. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy as fuck. Work like that. So what you really want to do in reality, right? Okay. I'm not gonna give out. I'm not gonna give out too much, but I'm gonna say this: You wanna first get the fuck from in front of that goddamn barrel. <laughs> I mean, is that obvious?
I'm not gonna give out too much, but I'm just saying, I mean, you wanna first get the fuck from in front of that goddamn barrel in case that bitch go off. I mean, so, obvious, bro. Boom, he got the shotgun at me, right? My hands are up. I'm gonna get off the fucking center line. It might even discharge. Boom! <laughs> but even if it discharge, I'm from in front of it. Now, from there, I wanna slide here. I got the weapon, and then I can strike. Now, oh, I'm not gonna show y'all my strike. And when he do it, he's not gonna, y'all don't need to know how the fuck we gonna strike. But, we just gonna go through the motion. Shotgun in my face. All right, I'm getting robbed here, but you got it. You feel me? Now, I got the See, weapon out from here. See, if feet. he's stronger than me, at least feet. we can wrestle with this motherfucker. Little feet. See, your head would have been blown off already. Like, all that tough shit, like, I think it would already blown your chest in. Like, I think it already would have blown your face in. Like, your nose would have been to the back of your brain. On some real shit. Like, ain't no nigga gonna sit there and let you play with his ass. Straight up. It's a damn shame, Lil Fee. It's a damn fucking shame that you think that you can really teach somebody some shit. And I hope that none of those little niggas actually that that watch you try this shit because if they get caught up in some real shit, they're going to end up on the motherfucking news. They're going to end up in the obituary. Like, like, like this shit is not a game. Like you'll be here playing games like you know some real shit. You don't. Like, you're not no Spartan. You're not a warrior. Like, you're not no damn soldier. If you, if you no have. general. Now, you want to do it? Jeez Louise. The shotgun is huh? Now, shot into your body, make them drop much quicker. I'm gonna back this shit up a little bit. At shot point blank range with a shotgun, right? Boom, action. Now the shotgun is in my face, or it's at my body, right? I'm in front of you. Once again, this ain't that, no disrespect to Detroit, this ain't that Detroit, this the real shit, right? Oh, now the first thing I wanna do it's just like fighting. I want to get off that goddamn center line, right? Now, once again, this is not a weak guy. So this is not no Hollywood shit. You know what I'm saying? In real life, a motherfucker with a shotgun that's bigger than you and got his own strength, it's not going to work like that. So what you really want to do in reality, right? Okay? In reality. I'm not going to give, out, give out too much, but I'm going to say this. You want to first get the fuck in front of that goddamn barrel in case that bitch go off. So, boom, you got the shot at me, right? My hands are up. I'm going to get off the fucking center line. It might even discharge. Boom! But even if it discharges, I'm coming in front of Why would you? Now, from there, I want to slide here. I got the weapon, See, and then I can strike. Why would you grab a, a, sh a shotgun that he's literally about to fire? Like, what sense does that make, bro? Like, please tell me what sense does that make? Now, if you move your head out the damn way and he blasts the gun and you try to grab the shotgun, why is it blasting? You know the recoil, the heat that that gun, coil, uh, that gun tip is going to have? Like, your hand right there is going to be burnt, little feet. Like, you're going to have first-degree burns on your damn hand, your, like your damn palm print. Go have first-degree burns, nigga. Because that's, that's straight heat, fire coming out that bitch. So, you done already fucked up already and probably got your hand blown off. Your hand burnt, first-degree burns and shit. Straight up. That's not smart. Stop trying to teach people this shit, nigga. Straight up. <laughs> you can't make this dumb ass shit up, bro. Now, while I got the, the firearm right here, right? You will all your might try to aim it back at me. Go. Because I got that left. So he can't get the slow, 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 slow. So he can't aim the barrel back in front of him. Even though he's strong as hell, he's not weak. But you oh, can't aim, you can't aim the barrel back in front of me because I done already got off the center line and I got this motherfucker pinned. So the point I want to make to you guys is this ain't that fake ass Detroit Urban Train. Because you don't know how big the person is aiming the fucking gun at you. In reality. You don't know if they big as hell. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, nobody says somebody 5'1, 80 pounds is gonna put a pistol in your face. They might be 6'2, oh, 280, and you're not just gonna grab no goddamn gun. I don't know motherfucking hand that 6228. So my me. advice would be to watch get me do it. Watch me. Get that shit up. If you if you have to. Now, you wanna do it? The shotgun is hot, huh? Now this ugly ass rat. Like this nigga so happy to try to show y'all some shit he just learned. Like, I ain't never seen a feminine ass rat, a teenage view ninja rat, try to teach something that he just watched and learned from TikTok. Like straight up, like it's some crazy shit, man. It's a crazy gaily verse that we live in, bro. Shot into your body, make them drop much quicker. Oh, I'm gonna nice. back this shit up a little bit. At shot point blank range with a shotgun, right? Boom, action. 
Okay. Now the shotgun is in my face. Or it's at my body. Right? I'm in front of you. Once again, this ain't that no disrespect to Detroit. This ain't that Detroit. This is the real shit. Right? Now the first thing I want to do is just like fighting. I want to get off that goddamn center line. Right? Now once again, this is not a weak guy. So this is not no Hollywood shit. You know what I'm saying? In real life, a motherfucker with a shotgun that's bigger than you and got his own strength, it's, going, it's not going to work like that. So what you really want to do in reality, right? Okay? I'm not gonna give out. I'm not gonna give out too much, but I'm gonna just say this: You wanna first get the fuck from in front of that goddamn barrel in case that bitch go off. So, boom, he got the shotgun at me, right? My hands are up. I'ma get off the fucking center line. It might even discharge. Boom! But even if it discharge, I'm from in front. Your hand gonna be fucking first degree burns on your fucking palms, nigga. Straight up. And just the, the bro, the noise and the recoil is just gonna scare your ass back, and you not even know what the fuck to do, bro. Like, this is bad advice, little feet. Now, from here, these are not even holding the right, like the right way to brace the recoil of the like of the shotgun. That's gonna rip his shoulder apart. It's gonna rip his collarbone apart. Slide here. I got the weapon, and then I can strike. Now I'm not gonna show y'all my strike. And when he do it, he's not gonna. Y'all don't need to know how the fuck we gonna strike. Yeah. But we just gonna go through the motion. Shotgun in my face. All right, I'm getting robbed here, but you got it. You feel me? Now I got the weapon, now from here, if he's stronger than me, at least we can wrestle with this motherfucker. So even if I can't take it, you feel me? I'm not in front of him. So we'll be some wrestling ass niggas with this goddamn gun. But, let's say he's not stronger than me, or I'm swifter, or my technique is swifter, right? All kind of shit I can do. You feel me? Smack him with the barrel right there. I can smack him with the butt of the gun in his kidney, smack him with the butt of the gun in his head. Or, you know me personally, I'm probably gonna give you a more time. I'm probably about to give you a shot. The weak ass knees, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Shut up the knee. So, I said to say this. This is real fucking life. Really? <laughs> it's real life, Lofi. In real nation, you're probably not about to do all of that shit you see on the goddamn movie. Because you don't know, you actually don't know how skilled and how strong. Excuse me, so you'll never ever blow that gun out of nigga <laughs> ever in your life. <laughs> So stop trying to act like you bitch ass nigga. The person is, that's actually fucking okay. Right or wrong? You don't fucking know that. So, all you need to know is get your ass shot. Oh, gosh. Get, get off the goddamn center line. And if you can't take the weapon, at least make sure you can't be attacked with the weapon. So I'd rather wrestle you to death over this goddamn gun than motherfucking. Just yeah, you just pop my shit. So in a in a fast motion, one about. last time, it should look like this, right? And we here. <laughs> we can't shit. We here. <laughs> we we here. Shit. Gun did went off. Boom. And that's a shotgun, which means if that yeah. shit go off, that's good for me because <laughs> why is that good for you? Feet? Now you gotta cock it again. And you ain't gonna be able to cock that motherfucker if we wrestling over this bitch. That's if he has. You, have to, a pump. you ain't gonna be able to do all. You That's if he has a pump action shotgun, nigga. There's other shotguns that don't need a pump. They just instant fire. Shut the fuck up, nigga. And then from here, I got all kind of shit. <laughs> Ears, no, 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 knees, groin strikes, elbow, all kind of shit that we can do to each other. So the point is, right? And it's a way, and it's a way, and it's a way he, he can actually stop me from grabbing that, but I'm going to do that shit off camera. But anyway, we're going to end this shit right here. We're looking forward to coming around the world as humanitarians and doing what we're supposed to do. And we ain't doing nothing over here but staying fit, staying healthy, training, and, and about to bring the baddies over here. I army shit. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right, y'all. We over here running drills and shit. We playing. We having fun. I, I want to try some. All right, so you got it. So, yeah. I'm going to back y'all up so y'all can see. I'm going to back y'all up so y'all can see. All right, so shot in his hand, right? I'm gonna disarm my attacker. It's ain't that Detroit, it's that Otten shit. So I'm gonna, uh, uh, right? And then however I wanna strike him, or I'm gonna throw this knee. You feel what I'm saying? <sighs> but he got the belly pad on, so I'm gonna pop it just a little bit. So a matter of fact, I'm gonna throw this one. <sighs> that one right there. Oh, God. All right? So, a matter of fact, let me see which one I'm gonna throw. That's comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna just make that contact. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this like three times and I'm gonna do three different knees. Alright, ready? Set. Alright, well you got it, bro. Let me take this shit off. 
That's one. <laughs> right? Be feeling that too. Yeah. Skeezer be so shut right? the fuck up. Uh -huh. Time two. You got it, you got it. Alright, right, boom. Me. Blow his ass. That's me too. Bro, that left knee is so slow, like you took so long to get that knee up there. I would have already blown your head off as soon as you would have start talking. Yeah, let me show you. Alright, come right over here. Yup. Alright, you gotta protect this thing. Like I already blow your heart through your chest. Straight up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so He's so happy. The knees ain't no joke. He's so happy. And my nigga Kwa got them side knees, but he ain't He's so happy right He'll now. play. He don't want to be on the camera. I'm I'll get on the motherfucker a little bit. Nah, you know niggas they gotta get. Get a little, little polished up, a little polished, but we over here doing what we do, but them shits ain't no joke, and I got a combo, I got a combo for y'all niggas, I got a fucking, a 10 hitter combo, but I'm waiting, but I don't know, are you whole pass, you up, you not a whole pass good? Yeah, I mean, I get, I get the concept. Let's try it. Let's try it. But we gotta practice it. Bro. Mm -hmm. We gotta practice it. But you over here. Yeah, like. I got a nice fish. Wow. That's the best we got so far. <laughs> but we gotta practice it. Mm -hmm. We gotta practice it. But you over here just fucking around. Getting money, staying in shape. Oh it is what it is. Pool party coming up. Which one is you working video shoot coming up? You know, I'm gonna support my motherfucking brother. And it is what it is. But, we gonna, we gonna, we just playing right now. We just playing. But, we'll come on here for real in a minute. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Our connection is a success. Make sure y'all go motherfucking subscribe. Okay, I'm okay. Scooby's on fire. Yeah. On our Instagram, man. Go follow me, man. Subscribe. Our connection is a success. Period. And with that being said, love y'all, appreciate y'all. It's this damn. Froze. The streets made me stronger. That sound. So y'all just saw this fuck nigga right here, man. Try to break down some so-called Detroit survival skill tactical shit, man. And that shit did not. Uh, uh, that shit did not work. Oh, uh, that shit did not work. Worth shit. Straight up. Straight up, that shit did not work. You guys, do y'all think that, straight up, like, do y'all think that y'all could apply those tactics that he was talking about in one of those real life scenarios? Like, would y'all even attempt to do that, guys? Or would y'all, you know, uh, like, try to actually do some real life tactical shit, man? Straight up. Like, what would y'all do? Straight up, like, would y'all take that shit? Like, would y'all use any of those skills? Like, don't, like, bro, like, those skills would have got you killed, bro. Straight up. Real talk. Those skills would have got you killed, bro. Like, I can't stress that enough, bro. Them skills would have got you fucking fucked the fuck up, dude. That's, that's a damn shame, bro. I'm just thinking about all of them rolls and, you know, weak-ass, slow-ass gunshots and maneuvers. Like, bro, like, little fee, that's uh, on security. On army is going to be straight ass. Like, if you're their leader, like, 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 if you're their teacher, like, that's straight ass, bro. Like, straight up, bro. Like, you should be a damn shame of your ass. Straight up, bro. Any, any, any military... Any intelligence service from any country is gonna be able to like, bro, literally infiltrate on army and then come and conquer y'all with ease. If those are your moves, if those are your tactical skills, yeah, nigga, you done. Straight up, guys. But that's it for today, guys. Man, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, catch me on the next one, guys. And like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace and love.